Yo, what is good everyone? It is Zigzag here. Welcome back to another GeoGuessr video and welcome to a special World Cup practice. Today, I'm joined by my good friend, Kodiak. How are you going, man? I'm doing great. I'm very excited to play against you. <laughs> yeah, so as we have been doing and as Jake has been doing on his channel as well, we're going to be doing a World Cup practice just on the standard format. That is basically what we're predicting to be the actual thing. Uh, so kind of a litmus test to see how both of us are stacking up. Obviously, it's a friendly battle, but it is interesting to see how things are shaping up as we are only three weeks away from the World Cup, which is insane to say, isn't it? Okay, so basically the first one here is going to be Community World on moving. Obviously for Kodiak, moving is quite a strength, especially in comparison to me, so I guess I'll be trying to guess quickly or whatever, trying to do something. And uh, yeah, then we'll move through to some no moving as well. Uh, and yeah, it's a best of five, so strap in. And uh, I say we get into the first game, shall we? I really will just have to go as quickly as I can here. That is absolutely the tactics. Let's see what we have on our first round here. Looks like it's going to be somewhere in like Spain or Portugal or something like that to me. Um, and so, what do we have here? This is actually Ital- Ita Ita uh, not Italian, it looks like it says Italian, but no, this is actually Greek, of course. Uh, I thought this is just somewhere near Athens, and I think we should just go quickly, because ultimately we're not really going to see too much more, I think, here. Uh, but looking around, I mean, it could be further north as well, I could definitely see that, but uh, I'm pretty satisfied with the guess on this occasion. Honestly, yeah, and this uh, pole with the hole in it, I think that's also quite like an Athens thing, so hopefully we're at least somewhat correct about this region. I, I expect to be. And oh, it was Crete. That's why it's so dry, of course. Yeah, but I mean, when we have a round with a sign straight away, it's obviously going to favor Kodiak so much. So, um, yeah. Okay, next one here. We are looking at something in Europe once again, I would say. With this uh, pole here. Looks like Italy. Po Valley, maybe? Or do we have kind of a different vibe going on here? Let's move on to see this pole better. So, is it Po Valley? I want to see the architecture because it's so flat here. This could be southeast, though. So many trees that kind of look a bit more southern. Um, okay, I will actually go a few more steps down here just to see a few more houses, even though I should be sending soon. And yeah, could this be Sardinia as well? That's actually a good, it's actually a good idea as well. I think I'll actually go southeast here. I think the trees kind of feel that way outside Bari being the most likely here. I didn't see any houses that screamed north. Indeed, this one kind of looks a bit more southern to me. So I think I'm happy with the guess. Oh yeah, eucalyptus here as well, a couple. So yeah, I think southern is good, but... We'll find out momentarily if that is indeed the right call. And it was actually down Bari way, so we trade points here. This is a good guess. Um, it's going to be almost a thousand points there, so yeah, really can't complain. Okay, moving forward to round number three here. We're going to get some Mexico country I was practicing today. Probably not, actually. So this is actually Thailand. Now, Thailand, if it is Thai, I'm, I'm feeling like this might be... We see some mountains in the background there. What is the vibe here? Very red soil. I'm thinking this is a bit further north, you know? Um, but I'm just going to go like this. I feel like this is a pretty good guess. Again, speed is essential here. I think Thailand is the type of country where as soon as you hit a highway sign, you're highly likely to be able to like pinpoint your general direction because they are pretty well ordered. So guessing quickly here, as I said, pretty essential in my opinion. And it was up near Vien Chan there, uh, but we go for pretty similar guesses. It's both pretty good guesses, honestly, because we could have gone up north or south there. Um, but yeah, that very red soil being more indicative of the east. Okay, next one here. I really want to take this one. It's in, it's Thailand again. We have place names. I might just go for the guess here. It kind of feels like it's not too far from Bangkok in my opinion. Just these rice fields. Pretty plain looking round. Let's just go for it here. And yeah, he knew the places. This is unfortunate. Obviously, Kodiak, he is a person who's actually traveled quite extensively in Thailand and Cambodia, I think. And, and Laos as well. So getting a place name there off the rip, not... Not good, definitely. <laughs> okay, next one here. Are we in uh, Germany or Austria? Number plate would say Austria, I think, but let's check the copyright date as well to make sure if the game is going to load. And it should be right here. It's 2022, so yeah, this is Austria. Very flat, so I'm thinking that this is probably somewhere near Vienna, but you can also get flatness near Linz as well, so I guess we'll find out soon enough. I think this guess looks good, though. Uh, Yeah. Okay, we have some hills there to our south. It still fits. It still fits anywhere along this section here. Should be the correct answer. And let's see uh, what Leon goes for here. It is going to be up near Linz as well, yeah. I'm not surprised that he went here because this is very flat for Austria. Um, and uh, that is, generally speaking, the flattest area. Okay, we're a bit behind here. There's all been signage rounds where he's uh, gotten the advantage on us. And this is somewhere hmm, different, definitely. This is Mexico. I've been practicing Mexico, as I said, so kind of biased towards guessing there, but... I haven't actually worked out the country yet. So we have quite a few pines. Certainly could be Mexico, but what are the other options here? I guess like, uh, it's not really Brazil looking, is it? This has to be Mexico, I guess. White sand everywhere. Oof. 
And yeah, it's it's very interesting. So could it be Cambodia or something? I might it might just be that I have Mexico on the mind, and so I want to guess there when it's absolutely not. So sun there is to the south, so it is northern hemisphere. And uh, yeah, what about those poles? What do they look like? Uh, time is short, so I guess I should make my guess here. Uh, Oaxaca forest, or is this further north? Maybe. Uh, okay, this is actually Jalisco. Very difficult round, I think. Uh, but uh, I guess a little bit of Mexico practice is at least to help me to go somewhat more correct there. Not really a good guess, though. Would have liked to have gotten a lot closer. Uh, okay, next one here. And it was Mexico. I'm, I'm happy about that as well. <laughs> okay, next one here should be somewhere in Kumasi or Accra um, in Ghana. We have that Google car here. The taxi is very Ghana. And, uh, ultimately, I think I just got to go for Kumasi here. I saw a hill, so immediately makes it more likely. It's a bigish town, or at least it feels that way. Um, and he's going to find the place name soon, so I just got to go, really. Uh, so, we'll see. I think I think looking at this hill here, it's going to be Kumasi or a town nearby. And that is going to be enough for me, I hope. But where was it actually? Oh, it was down, down Kumasi there. Huh, nice result for us. Didn't expect to get closer there. Did not. Uh, but I'll take it. Okay. Moving on to 2.5 times damage now. Where are we? In Eastern Europe, perhaps? Uh, yeah, this is actually... Poland. We have the OV ending, so this should be somewhere further south, and I kind of got more of a Ukrainian vibe, so I'm going to go further east. That's extremely random. I mean, it kind of looks Baltic, honestly, so I'm surprised it's south, and yeah, it's actually just towards Warsaw there. Uh, we both knew the south meta, but really it kind of cuts off halfway up the country, so yeah, not surprised that that was actually up near Warsaw there. Next one here, we are in Germanic architecture Europe here, so probably somewhere in Austria, I'd imagine. And this kind of feels more Western Austria, though I'm not really too sure. I think I'm just going to send it in here before he finds a place name. Obviously, Leon is likely to know quite a few place names, so yeah. I mean, it's just better for me to go on around like this, and hopefully my Western vibes are right, although it could just easily be in the Central Mountains here, in which case we could be in a little bit of trouble, but, um, you know, Austria is quite a small country, so yeah. I think I'm doing a good job of, like, putting the pressure on here. Haven't really given him too many opportunities to make the most of his place name knowledge. And we haven't below half health here, so it's not been a bad performance regardless, uh, even if we go down somehow. Okay, this is an insta-send round, I think. So yeah, we don't see anything here. Do we? Okay, let's check. We have to check the polls once, just to see if there's any meta. Okay, no meta that I can see. We have tuk-tuks. I think I just literally go in the middle here. I don't see anything to indicate one way or the other, but that's fine. That's good. Um, lots of, lots of jeeps here. Interesting. I'm sure there's a place named very nearby, like on one of these signs or whatever, so going was essential. Well, it kind of looks like, I was going to say, it kind of looks like Medellin hills. They were kind of like a, kind of milder hills. But honestly, we survived a urban round there. That's a fantastic result. And we are on to quadruple damage now. Round number 11. It's been a long game. ACW often produces long games. This, I would imagine, is Ireland. Okay, let's just... Take one step here, see if we can see any pole stickers or anything. Not really. It should be Ireland still. I want to check one more because they can be quite useful, those poles. Uh, yeah. I don't know. The yield sign? I'm not really sure what that means either. It still feels, it still feels Irish more than anything to me, so I'm just going to go for that. Uh, but, uh, yeah, we may be wrong here. <laughs> hope, I just hope it's not UK, but it feels too flat, I think, for UK, so... Maybe it's a bit further south, because, I don't know. Ireland's a really difficult region guess, and... He may not even know the country here, although I probably could have been more diligent searching for the copyright, which does help between the two countries. Uh, and yeah, it was just Central Ireland there. Not a surprise. Yeah, the copyright meta stuff, I mean, a lot of that is like starting to get used now. And as soon as you bring that cat out of the bag, like it's really hard to put it back in, you know. So, okay, next one here is Northern. Um, this is surely Northern Greece somewhere over here. I'm just going straight for it. It's, it's not where I clicked because this is too mountainous, but it could be either side here, I think. Uh, so do we have South Mountains is the question. Kind of, not too many. So I still feel fine about the guess. It looks like Bulgaria, so I really want to go in fast here. Although we'll see if that pays off or not. And it was always Thessaloniki flatness there. So yeah, I was hedging too much for the Eastern possibility. And now we're exactly even health. Uh, so obviously we're on the back foot given that this is no moving, but not down and out yet. This is uh, somewhere in Bolivia. Now, we got some reddish soil here. Sucre is on the sign there. I, I doubt he missed it, but let's just go outside Sucre here. Honestly, the mountains are kind of small. Uh, and Sucre's a big place. So this is probably east of Sucre, maybe around here. But I just had to go, you know. It's uh, it's really the thing where every second counts here. 
So that's my justification for why I just sent it in immediately. And okay, it was just a bit more east there. De definitely makes sense. He picked a... He just actually went in the mountains, but uh, five points. Okay, that's fine. Could have been better. Um, but yeah, ultimately, don't really regret too much there. This is a half round, potentially, we have going on Europe. Italy? Is it like Italy? Or Northern Italian mountains or something? Houses? They kind of feel like Slovenian or something. That's interesting. Could this be like Croatia, Slovenia? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, what copyright do we have here? Again, checking. Again, I'm not really able to see. Uh, that's 2021. So it's not Slovenia. 20 2021 doesn't exist in Slovenia. So, I would say we may actually be looking at Italy then. Yeah. 2021. Let's go like this. I still think this could be France too, actually. Now that I just guessed, but... No, uh, the architecture doesn't look quite French. It's definitely Alpine, so I think Austria and, and Italy are still more likely. It's interesting. It's an interesting little round here. I'm not really sure where it's going to be. Uh, and it was the 5k from Kodiak. It was actually in France indeed, so that is going to be GG damage there. Okay, GG. Well played. Well played. It's like, I need to change my playstyle when I play against someone like you that just it's like it's, Yeah. I need to take more time, like, in the first seconds to just look around to have a decent region guess before I start moving. Because <laughs> when I did the second round, like, the Italy round, I just, like, started moving, and I was like, wait, I didn't look around, and then you just said it. I was like, ah, fuck. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, that last round, very impressive. How were you able to uh, get so close there? Uh, I lined up the valley. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's I don't know, impressive. like, I, I, like... I knew it was France, and then I just lined up the valley. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, now let's move forward to a different map, and on to moving. Uh, it's 1-0 for Kodiak. Let's get it. Things get a lot more chill now. We're not racing against time with Kodiak being able to look around for stuff. And let's just uh, get into this round, which immediately we had a lot of poplar trees, so it's interesting. I think it should be somewhere in Peru. Peru does give me some problems here. Um, this... Uh, this might look a little bit further south to me, or maybe just somewhere near uh, Lima, I think. Uh, but yeah, I don't really have anything good to go off of here. It is very flat. That's what I've noticed here. Very flat, considering what it is. So maybe like Ayacucho area could work here. I think I'm going to go for that here. Because I think around Cusco, up to Ayacucho, it's a lot, a lot more mountainous. Um, and then maybe, yeah, this kind of region works but well. But actually, it was just a Cusco Valley there. We go for the same guess, so... Honestly, on Peru, one of my weaker countries, that is a good result, I could say. Okay, and we move forward to a fairly difficult round here. I can definitely see myself sending the wrong country here. It feels, though, like it might be somewhere in Italy to me. I think this is Po Valley, Italy. I'm going to put the pressure on here. I think it's highly likely, given that Kodiak's done a lot of travel in Italy, that he gets this, but... Yeah. But it was good to go quickly, just in case. And, uh, yeah. As soon as you have a good region guess on jewels, it's really good to go. Well, at least that's always my tactic. Okay, are we in Argentina here, maybe? I have all white road lines sometimes, but no, this is actually Poland. Okay, Poland is <laughs> not the type of country that's particularly region-guessable. Um, I'm not really sure if that place name in the distance is uh, visible or not, but I'm just going to go here. And we happen to get really close there, which is nice, but on Poland, I guess my vibes are <laughs> not really better than anyone else's, so I can't really chalk that up to skill too much, at least. Okay, and the next one here is in the Canadian Shield. We got this massive rock, oops, next to us. Um, and I would say that this is, oh, it's Ontario. That makes sense. So Western Ontario somewhere. Obviously the road angle may help a bit here. Just trying to think, it's it's very forested. So we could definitely click somewhere that's a bit more forested here as I zoom into Russia. Um, just something like this works quite nicely, right? Uh, is that rocky enough though? Hmm. I think this is a fine hedge trying to see does it feel like we're near a big lake or something i'm not really so sure i'm just gonna leave it like that though uh and yeah we go for the same place i mean there's a lot of road angle here that looks similar so really forgive us both for that guess i think although ontario is so big that you do kind of fear it just for the fact that one person is likely to do a big, big amount of damage next one here western kenya uh the corn crops and this google car equal western kenya here just go kissamu uh, should be close enough, really. We have a ridge south there, so maybe a bit further south, or honestly, actually, just maybe near where I clicked is pretty good, I think. And uh, yeah, it was indeed near where I clicked. That was the south ridge, so it's going to be nice damage. 281. Obviously, it would have been nicer when we had higher multis, but now we are into the multis, and we have an interesting round here. Dirt road coverage is in New Zealand, maybe. Yes. So Kodiak again. He has many strengths. One of the one of them is New Zealand. 
Uh, this should just be in the cross church area, though, unless he tries to do something fancy, I would say. Uh, it is the cross church area. We have Hedge Rose. We have Mountains pretty close north here, so maybe near Oxford or something. And then we also have Mountains West. So, yeah, this is definitely this area, in my opinion, or a little bit further south. Oh, uh, but yeah. That's, that's, the hedgerow is really useful for that area. And yeah, it was there. Wow. Uh, he goes for a bit more of a creative guess there. Maybe found something that he thought lined up, but obviously that's just benefiting us very nicely. Um, and sometimes knowing, knowing less is knowing more on the country. It can be the case. Okay, so this one's somewhere in, uh, in Estonia. They have these white flowers everywhere. Greenish hue to the, um, round. You can see how this, kind of the sky is a bit of a green tint. Uh, well, that one is what you find in Estonia. I have no idea where in Estonia this is. I kind of got the vibe that it might be near the islands, but it's just near the lake instead. That makes sense. Uh, lots of ferns there. Maybe that's more of a central Estonian thing. I'm really clueless on that. Uh, but still, the jewel is relatively even here. Uh, this pole top is more of like a northern South Africa thing. Uh, we have fairly big mountains here on all sides, so I'm not really sure what I make of this. It's a lot of grass, a lot of trees as well. This is a hard... South Africa for my money. I kind of thought near Rustenburg, but I could be wrong about that. I don't know. Are there big enough mountains nearby? Maybe. I'm going to click here. Um, I hope it's not near Bloemfontein, but I wouldn't expect there to be that many trees there. Okay, it is near Bloemfontein. Damn it. <laughs> okay, well, that makes a lot of sense, and his guess is much better than mine, to be honest with you. Um, just a bit of a cringe guess by me, but that is okay, it's early days in the jewel, so it's really not too bad, less than a thousand. Uh, blue strip on the plate here is not what I expected to see. We have a Dominican Republic car with a hill. This is always going to be somewhere in uh, Santiago de los Caballeros, which is the only town covered with hills in Dominican Republic, so makes life nice and easy to go there. And he will get it correct as well, without a doubt in my mind, so we're going to see even points here. Of course, he's the type of guy to line up and try and get a nicer guess, and it does get him 15 points on this account, uh, on this occasion, so that's good. Next one here, USA. I think I have the advantage on the USA, but it's a big country. You can go either way. This feels maybe a bit more northern. We're on the night. We're on the Interstate 35 here. I feel like this is essential to look for. So I kind of got the vibe that's somewhere around here. The 35, huh? Oh, there's a 35. Okay, so what does this feel more like? I actually think this guess might be good. I'm gonna go like that. Uh, is it more Minnesota? I don't know, I feel like this is a good guess. I feel like the vegetation kind of feels warm, kind of feels cold. Could be a Missouri plate. I'm, I'm feeling it's okay. So we shall see if that's a decent guess or not, uh, but I hope it is, and it was. That is uh, honestly, for a round with a sign, that is ideal, ideal result. Um, but it was actually in Iowa, Very a lot of trees for Iowa there, normally kind of flattened corn in that state. Next one here is kind of autumnish. Um, pinkish road is interesting to me. Should be Canada, I guess. But then again, I'd, I don't know where in Canada I'd put place this, to be honest. Bit of green on the plate? Can't make it out. Uh, ooh, it feels quite north. This like kind of bramble stuff going on on the road. Is this like north Alberta? North, uh, oh, I don't know. I don't know where it is. Oh, I'm really... This is a skill issue, man. I don't know where this is, to be honest with you. Uh, he doesn't either. That's good. Uh, we got fairly thin trees. And we don't have any Saskatchewan road lines that I can see. And my idea was, like, Alberta somewhere here. Maybe up Grand Prairie way. I've been there. We do get a lot of trees there. I don't know what the pink road would tell me. This vegetation, though, surely it's quite north. The blue car. Mm. I don't know where this is. That's the quite honest truth of it. I'm going to hedge towards Saskatchewan. It kind of gave me that vibe. Let's go like this. Oh, yes, it was Sask. I don't know. There was no Sask road lines, but it was a hard round there. And we take the no moving, which is great. GG there. I actually thought it was a Saskatchewan plate. But yeah. I thought this pole, the pole is kind of like an Ontario pole. Is it because like the wood was paler? Is that what you mean? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I also had that thought. So there you go. But um, I just thought the trees in the end were kind of a bit too thin. And it didn't yeah, look like, like Quebec, so, yeah. But I can totally see how it's Saskatchewan. Like, I don't know. Yeah. No, I was also thinking of going oh, east. All right, let's head back into moving, shall we? Yeah, one all. Okay, it is one all. We are back on moving. Let's go. I would love to take a win on moving. That is a, that is a really big achievement to do on ACW against Kodiak. Uh, but it may not happen, which is okay. We can still win on no moving. 
And so this is northern um, Finland here with these bollards. Oh, we can, of course we can move here. So let's just see what it says on this sign real quick. I mean, it looks like we can't actually go there, which is fine to me. Big lake here to our north. Um, could we be looking at this kind of thing? Certainly. Certainly could. I mean, it, in all likelihood, we're just a, like a, a kind of a lake that's too big to really get get a grasp, a full grasp of here. But this guess here makes quite a bit of sense to me. It's also not snowy, so I think I'll just go for it here. Also quite likely to just be the river between... Yeah. I mean, the trees are not that thin. So I, I think this guess is good, but otherwise it's quite likely to be the river border between um, Norway and Finland. Uh, but uh, he's no doubt made it to something, so we'll see what he gets here. Okay, and it was a bit further south there. Happy I didn't go all the way max north, and he kind of opts for a more middle guess, so it's 500 points of damage. That's pretty good. That would have been huge, huge round if we uh, got it later on, but that's the way life goes. Okay, this is US. Wide road lines here. Ooh, very interesting houses. Let's get an idea in the parking lot here, what we have. Oh man, these cars keep on disappearing from me. Uh, mm, stop. Loading, loading, loading. Okay, what do we have? So it's US. Central Avenue. Uh, okay, this is this is the type of run where I should send right now, but I just want to see something. Hot Springs is the name of the town, I think. Uh, is there Hot Springs in Arkansas? Okay, we have front plates here, a bit of red in the middle. Okay, what does this say? Ha! Huh. Uh, I don't know where this is. A lot of red brick architecture. This is more eastern states, I think. Okay, I'm gonna go with my vibe here. I stopped looking at the everything else, and I go with my vibe. It kind of looks like Pennsylvania, but I'll go to New York. I didn't see any New York plates. No, this is silly. I don't know. I, I just let myself get too flustered here. It's too urban. Couldn't get a sense of the landscape. Hot Springs doesn't sound New York, does it? I don't know where that would be. Is it like... I, I thought it could be like very far west, like in Colorado or something. This could be a disaster. We'll see. And okay, it was Arkansas. It was Hot Springs, Arkansas. I think I was in call with Trevor, and he mentioned it today. So, <laughs> well, that's bad. But it's okay. Um, that was, I, I thought we had front plates there. That also screwed me up big time. Okay, here we are in Russia. Very poor quality roadie, big smudge as well. Ooh, so what's the antenna here? Antenna's facing left. This is Altai's, I think. Am I missing something here? Is this the Kuzil Road? I think it could be. Yeah. So we have fairly dark soil. Let's just move on one or two steps here to get a better idea of the antenna here. The antenna... It's actually facing east, is it? This is this cheetah. No, nope, it's 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 definitely the one. It's definitely the right antenna for I'm sending. So I'll go like this. Let's try it. Okay, was the 5k from Kodiak? Not a surprise to be honest. But I'm on the right road, so it's only 400 points of damage. That's honestly a good result. <laughs> now we survive to the multis and get a hard country is our tactic, because otherwise we're in deep trouble. Okay, here we are in uh, in Bangladesh. Lots of palms here. Kind of gives me like a Barishal or a Chattagram, Chittagong kind of vibe here. But ultimately a lot is possible here, I think. Uh, so, let's see. I mean, yeah, with tons of palms, tons of green, I think my guess is pretty good here. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Let's see where he's gone for. And okay, it was actually Chittagong near Kumila. That makes sense. Um, but my guess is also fine. So, again, just uh, kind of binding on till the multis here. This one should be in Northern Europe, somewhere with the Red Barn. Very Northern Europe thing to do, huh? Green tint again here. Let's just go outside of Tallinn. Um, heal, 100% know this because green blur is, once you've seen it a hundred times, you just know. And there's no way to get around it. The only other possibility is Sweden with green blur in Europe. Uh, but i uh, pretty sure this was just Estonia. He goes, Latvia, interesting. Must have been too focused on moving around, but uh, 31 points is only the result there, so it's really nothing. Maybe the Red Barns are more common there. Okay, here we are in the urban UK. It's not good. It's not good. It's fairly hilly here. Lots of red brick buildings. It's kind of a bit further. Oh, Exeter. In Exeter? In the Exeter. Let's go Exeter here. I have no other option, I believe. Uh, now, the thing is, if he fans a place name, he should really just guess. Because I don't... There's a lot of place names in Britain that I just would not know. Uh, and I think the chances that he's not seen that are pretty low here. But I expect we both 5 k Unless I'm wrong. Uh, yeah, exactly. But that's good. Good result. Exeter, I, as a place I know. Shoutouts to 3 clicks Philip. I'm pretty sure he's from Exeter. Good YouTuber. Uh, and okay, next one here is double damage. Tall trees in Japan. North vibe, I think. Yeah, north vibe off these bollards. Definitely. Now, we don't have any octagonal 
Hmm. I could be wrong about that. Okay, let's check out the pole. Uh, it is horizontal here. That's good for where I was thinking. Okay. Uh, let's check out one more here just to make out if we are uh, missing anything here. Yeah. So, I do believe it is somewhere up on that north region of Japan here. Lots of birches going on here. Let's just go in Akita. I feel like it's a decent guess. I don't, I don't know my snow poles that well, but yeah, should be good here. Okay, was over in Iwate there, just 200 points again. We're kind of holding on here. We need a big country to show up real soon. This looks like it could be a fairly big one. So let's see what's going on. It's going to be something in Northern Finland again, I believe here. Let's check out the bollards. Yep. So yeah, I think if we just kind of plonk in the same area as the last one here, trees are of similar length. Let's go like this and hope for the best. Uh, yeah. This is, uh, this is what Northern Finland Gen 3 looks like, often like autumn-ish coverage, um, kind of very, you know, the trees are a bit thinner, lots of lakes, kind of pinkish soil, yeah, this, that's how you recognize it. And indeed it was up there again, kind of out plonking them once again on the Finland, which is nice. Uh, just 500 points damage though, pretty measly, um, in terms of what we need on moving. Fortunately it's not urban, so I like a look at this, anything that's not urban here is good. This is a concrete road, uh, in, oh, we've got the grey tent. Somewhere in uh, Mongolia here, very dry. Quite a few trees here. Is that this way maybe? Just gonna go for that. I think it's uh, should be a decent guess here at least. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty clueless on Mongolia, but we did have trees here. So North Mongolia is feeling better. I thought it might be Hatgal, but I'm really not sure. This this is the hedge in case it's like all the way near Tess or something like that. Uh, and it was Hatgal, damn. I even called it. I think with the trees, that was a better send, but we survived, we survived fine. Um, Good region guest from Kodiak there. Okay, we have some Australia here. So we have to instantly send. Is that a Tasmanian pole top? I believe so. No, it's not. Hmm. Why do I not, rec why do I not recognize this? I have to get out to the main road here. I think it's actually New South Wales somewhere. Is this like Blue Mountains or... Why do I not recognize this? Okay, it's actually Melbourne somewhere here. I uh, just want to... Okay, Ballarat Station. Nice. That Ballarat, I understand why I didn't know it, because Ballarat's kind of a strange looking town. Lots of old buildings, so you think it's a capital city, because there was a gold rush out in Ballarat and Bendigo. So, yeah, they have lots of old, nice buildings. I think you'll have seen the town and know it, but in, in which, if not, yeah, it's nice. He goes Melbourne. Understandable. Bit of a save, a bit of a saving round there. 900 points damage. Definitely bring it back into the balance there. One of the few times where town names are going to help me more than Kodiak. Here we are in what looks to be Belgium, maybe. France, France here. Yeah, so France here. So I would say it's maybe northeasterly kind of vibe. Let's actually move one more spot here, see if we see anything else. Yeah, still kind of liking that idea with the, with the spruce as well there. Yeah, that feels pretty good. I just wanted to, I have been practicing France, so I want to go for a few more moves around here. But yeah, I'm, I'm still feeling good. It could be Western as well, Northwestern or Northeastern. Some of these houses felt more German to me, so I'm going to go Metz area. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Other option would be like around Nantes, I think. So they're quite far apart from each other, or just south of Paris. I don't know. Well, I had to go for something here. Um, just hope that we plonk correctly. And it was actually out in that area, so that's a good plonk. Exactly what we needed once again here, so 1.4k. Bring it back into the balance. The region guess has been good. No urban, no urban. Okay, it's not urban. That's good. It's like southern Peru to me, I think. Yeah, still southern Peru to me. Have to find one of these like green valleys here. Like that, something like that's possible. We go straight for it here. Uh, I don't even know if it's Peru to be honest. I just had, I just knew the region guess has to be on point here. It is Peru and it is southern. Pretty sure of it with these green valleys. We could win here. It's one of these ones near our keeper. That's the vibe. And yeah, oh, we plunk it on it. Let's go the right valley. GG's, we take the moving game there, that's huge. And how did you know it's this many? <laughs> nice. Uh, super green, but also dry. Nice, I would go north of Lima there every time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think when it's, nice, uh, the, nice. the thing is when you got the combination of green and bone dry, like absolute, like, it, that's like more Yeah, yeah I can see that. Mm. Yeah. There we go, that was uh, moving, so now let's move back to a no moving game, shall we? Yes, sir. <laughs> Best of luck, my friend. Okay, here we go. Improved world, no moving. We need one more win out of a no moving and an NPZ game. So surely we can do that. I mean, I would consider these my strengths. It was a really fortunate string of rounds there to get a bunch of um, no urban. So we got to press home our advantage here. This is Northern France, I think. Red roofs are interesting though. So 
I don't think this is too like far east where you'd normally get black grooves. That's an interesting vibe here. Like I could definitely see it being further south than I thought. Uh, but I'll actually just go like around here or around here. I'll go here instead. And okay, it was a nice vibe there. Near Paris actually indeed. But yeah, again, Paris normally using more black roofs, but yeah, you do get a mix there. So it's one of the most useful tips for France, but it is kind of random. You do have to do a bit of learning for that. Next one here is North America. And so, oh, it's not. We have actually European plates here. So what's going on here? Is this like Sweden or something? I don't even know what I'm looking at in the distance. This is maybe Pol I mean, uh, Belgium. Yeah, we have reddish on the plate. I think it's Belgium. Hmm. We have a lot of bricks, so that makes sense. And we have French as well. Okay, so it should indeed be correct here. Yeah. Uh, assuming this is not baiting us, and that is indeed French, then I guess this is a uh, Brussels or Chalawa, Chala, Chalara, or something like that. Uh, I'll just go Brussels. I don't know. I don't really feel like <laughs> him finding out somehow the 5k here and uh, doing a bunch of damage. So let's just hope I'm right about that. That was all the way over there in uh, Viz. Viz? Yeah, interesting. 40 points of damage only there. But he avoids the flawless. Next one here is going to be somewhere in Norway with these long out to dashes. Trees? Uh, mixed vibes here, honestly. Yeah, I think the trees are actually fairly southern here. Pretty lush, pretty full trees. Uh, even though that mountain's fairly bare, I would still say that this is somewhere around here. I'm just going to go for it. Um, it could be all the way up to uh, uh, Lofoten, but I think the trees are too full. So I would like to say that this guess is slightly better than that. We do have fireweed. Should be pretty... That's more of a north thing, yeah. If I saw that, I would have probably sent more north. I have a good guess from Kodiak there. Should have at least gone Trondheim to hedge it. But, you know, what can you do? That's hindsight. Ooh, what is this Google car? We have two, like chair legs sticking up here. Okay, very interesting. Should be somewhere in Thailand, actually. Wow. What is this? I'm going to go for a crazy face. Uh, Thailand? What is going on? This is a very weird round. It's definitely Thailand because we have the square pole with the uh, holes running up and down. Uh, very grassy. I don't see any palm trees, so I'm assuming this is North Thailand, but very strange round in my opinion. Uh, I guess Chiang Mai. Uh, let's go to the National Park outside Chiang Mai here. Just, but just because, like, Normally when you have these weird cars, it's near like a significant place or uh, somewhere with population. Looks like that might even be an entrance of some kind. And that is Bangkok. Oh, an island. Wow, that's a wild round there. Uh, no Ronda, we both got it wrong. <laughs> um, and uh, wow, that could have been huge damage, obviously, but neither of us knew it. This is going to be somewhere in the Turkey. Looks like we're using tiled roofs here, so maybe a bit more of a Western tip. Uh, but this is pretty generic. Um... So yeah, do we see any street sign? I don't think we have anything here, to be honest. Nothing useful that I could see. It's definitely Turkey because of this pole. Um, yeah, very weird round. I guess I would just kind of go Kayseri or Akashre, 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 It just feels like something in the middle, doesn't it? So I think that's my vibe, vibe, vibe here. Is it like all the way west, maybe? No, I'm, I'm going to hit it there. I'll see it. And okay, it was Batman. Makes sense, to be honest, but... Uh, yeah, it's a very difficult round to get correct, I think. 500 points is still something, though. Okay, 1.5 times damage. Should have just clicked the middle, because it was such a hard round. Hindsight is 50-50. Let's go. Uh, we're looking at some Bangladesh here. Now, Bangladesh, Bangladesh. This feels like it's probably somewhere near Dakar, to my mind. I'm just going to hedge it slightly west of Dakar. But yeah, this just feels like it's probably central or western to me. Uh, but Bangladesh is hard to pin down why you think it is where it is, beyond, like how many palm trees there are and such. And it was Western indeed. Okay, next one here is Iceland. We gotta guess quickly so that he doesn't get a good guess off here. Looks like we got, we got West Coast here, which is very nice to see. Like, Coast helps me out. It helps him more, but at least I won't send the right, wrong side of the country here, theoretically. Uh, I think I'm going like that. No, we don't see any, we don't see any land out north here, but we do see a lot west. I don't know what the meaning of that is. We see big mountains west, so it could be like here or something. But then again, we see e flatness east. I think this is the what type of round I should just send, but I don't... I don't really see what makes sense here, actually. Mm. I'm a bit worried that this could actually be all the way out there. I don't know. Flatness east. Do we have any smudge? No smudge. Hmm. Huh. I'm going to hedge it more like that. I don't know. Okay, nice. That was a good choice. Yeah. Uh... 
No, nothing, no comment. Just had to, I knew it was probably either north or west, and I just had to hedge between. No, no other, no other comments there. This is Canada, I think, though. It feels very cold. It kind of feels similar to the last Saskatchewan round we had. Thin trees once again here. Uh, do we have any Sask road lines here? Doesn't appear that we do. Okay, do we have any fireweed or anything? The trees are definitely north to my mind. So probably Alberta, Sask. I'm going to go for the same guess as last time, to be quite honest with you. Uh, this is quite possible to me, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, 2.5 times damage. The game could end here. If, uh, if I miss the vibes here, if this is like somehow Northwestern Territories, which it could be. Ooh. It's right up there. Uh, Alberta works quite nicely here for 2.5 times damage, 2.2k. Uh, definitely a difficult round. I, I, as soon as I said Northwestern Territories, I thought, oh, that's quite possible. Fortunately, we still were closer. Uh, are we in Spain here? This kind of red field looks very Spanish to me. Poles are a bit sus for Spain, but still possible. He goes quickly. Okay, I don't think it's Greece. Well, the road looks a little Greek. I can't lie. Oh, do we see any houses here? I think we go Spain. We could be wrong about this, but uh, if, in which case the series lives on, but I think it's Spain. Oh, and we 5k it. That's beautiful. Uh, it still might not be knockout damage. Oh, it is though. GG's. Bro, that was so stupid. I was like, this is Spain. Then I was like, wait, we have a pointy pole top. I sent France really quick before he notices. Oh my God, this is... It was yeah, stupid. I have to say that the polls um, I also so struck me as more <laughs> French. I do agree, but yeah, landscape was like, Spanish. It looked so Spanish, dude. Yeah. I, I'm mad. Ah. I need to work on my consistency, as I said, like, not blunder like this. Okay, so any concluding okay. thoughts from our series here, uh, Trevor? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Trevor, hi. <Cardiac? laughs> uh, I need to practice against people like you. Um, it's like such a different place. I, I will watch the video and you probably didn't move much and I need to adapt to that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because it's just like, it's so different. Like, if people give you time, I mean, it's obviously more enjoyable, but I can see how, like, from your position, why you should do that. <laughs> yes, this was basically um, essential so... for the way I could play. <laughs> yeah, so so I, I totally, like, I just need to practice against people that do this, uh, like, play, say, like, you'd play more. Mm -hmm. uh, because mostly against the people I played, they, like, do both, kind of. So we both give each other time, and then, like, someone eventually, like, 5Ks or gets very close. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, in the World Cup, it will be different. <laughs> That's for sure. That is for sure. Okay, so Kodiak, thank you so much for coming on the channel. It's been a pleasure to have you, of course. Um, uh, GG's, and uh, I look forward to uh, seeing you once again at the World Cup. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. Super hyped. <laughs> All right, so GG's, and guys, thanks for watching. Catch you later. Yeah.